life of every employee of this company means something. But you shouldn't have cut that cable. Are you trying to tell me that you would have stood by and willfully allowed that man to die? Yes. When you stopped all communication for an hour by cutting that cable, you stopped sick people from sending for their doctors. You stopped hospitals from sending out ambulances. You left the city at the mercy of fire. Who knows how many lives were jeopardized? Who knows? That's the point. Who knows? You're acting under a supposition. Now, before me, a man was dying and I was acting on fact. Son, this company operates because it serves all humanity, not a single individual. That service must not be stopped. Service, service, service. That's all I hear is service. What about the service you that man under the cable? He knew the chances he took when he went to work for us. He wouldn't have had you jeopardize the lives of thousands of others to save him. Oh, it's a lot of ridiculous stuff. Now, I saved one man's life. All the directors is waiting, gentlemen. All right. Well, now, we'll see what they have to say. Yes, yes. Oh, what? I've kept you waiting, gentlemen. We get down to business at once. The first thing that I wish to take up is a question of interrupted service this afternoon. I tried to see. Do you know how many complaints we've had? For the first time in the history of consolidated telephone, we failed to serve our subscribers. Now, just a minute. 